there's already a lot of videos out there on how to work load and just generally handle your Hasselblad or similar film cameras, but I just thought I'd upload my own video anyway. Uh, hopefully the audio is a little clearer and you can really see what's going on in this. So I'm just going to be going through my Hasselblad 500C, especially how to load it. It's, it's an older one, but they load all the same because the backs are pretty much the same. I have the old um, C backs, which are just completely manual loading backs. There's no little wind on them, but they're still just as easy to load. They take a couple more seconds of your time, but they're really easy. So we're just going to go through that. First we'll go through parts of the holder. Um, what makes it different from an A back? This is a C12, 7A12 back. So what makes it different? Um, so it has a dark slide, just like any other back. The side right here, instead of having the nice little hand crank, has this little flip up winder. Just kind of pinch your finger in there and you wind it through when you're good to go. Um, other than that, it's exactly the same. So let's open it up. We flip this on the back, twist, pull out our cassette. Let's get the dark slide back in there. I don't really like having this thing sitting out for too long, but whatever. It'll be fine. So I've already taken um, my empty spool and moved it into the take up position. This side is always your take up side on the Hasselblad. Um, these aren't really spring loaded, they're just kind of just kind of sit there. So we'll move that up, get our film. We're loading some T-Max 400 in there today. So you take out your film out of the packaging. Make sure you get all the tape off of there. There we go. Got all our tape. Now, you want to position this in the take-up spool so the black is coming out and around over this plate. That means the film is going across the focal plane the way it should. So we take that, pull the film across on the bottom, open that up. That opens up this little pressure plate right here. Slide the film under that. I always lock the pressure plate halfway through. That way it kind of locks it in. It's not going anywhere. So into the take-up side, we're going to stick this a little leader into the side and I just kind of wind it in there to get a little bit of tension. We loosen it back up. Now since this isn't an A back, you're going to see the arrow coming, but the arrow isn't really required to stop anywhere. Um, there's no little red indicator, so I just kind of stop wherever that's good. So now we take our film, back, back paper side right in there, put the cartridge in, twist, lock into position, make sure our dark slides back in there. Okay, and I always like to get them ready right off the camera just to make sure that everything, sometimes things don't sync up with the backs. Right now it's white and this side is red. So that means it's not going to sync up if I put, if, if white hits red, you're not going to have the same on sync exposure. You'll lose a shot, two shots, or you might even mess up something in your shutter or your winder. You really don't want to do that. They're a little expensive to clean, so just do it right the first time and load it. So what also makes it different from the C back or from the A back is that you have the manual winder, but you have this little window here. And in subdued light, you're, you're to open this up and look. And right now, I'm not sure if you can see anything in there, but there's, there's a little bit of yellow and that's just the paper backing. You pretty much watch the paper backing until you get to the number one, which appears right after the word Kodak and a couple dots or arrows or each manufacturer is a little different. So you get this nice manual winding noise and I'm just winding through and waiting for it to reach my magic number. I'm seeing some arrows. Okay, almost there. Kodak, and I don't know if you can see it. And there's the number one. I have the number one, so I close this, and then you roll it counterclockwise until you hear that little clank, and we're at the number one, and we're white. So everything's good so far. And this is red, so that I mean that means that the shot has been taken, but the mirror hasn't been flip back into position, so I'll crank that. Now we're white, the back is in. I can take my dark slide out and go ahead and take a shot. It's also kind of nice about the older backs is they have this little ASA guide. So now that I know, there we go, I've got some 400 speed film. I'm on shot one, that's my T-Max 400. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for some other videos on how to with your Hasselblad or your Mamiya 645AF.